Hi friends and welcome back. So today we're going to continue on our topic of elapsed time using a number line. Now elapsed time, remember, means the amount of time that has passed between a starting point and an ending point. So if you're somebody at home, your parent tells you, hey, you need to go clean your room for 30 minutes and you know right now it's one o'clock, you would know that the time that you'd be allowed to stop starting at one o'clock, 30 minutes, added on to that would be 1.30. So there's lots of times in our lives that we need to know how much time has passed. So we also need to know sometimes what time we need to start something to make sure we get it done by a certain point. So all of those things are uses for elapsed time in our daily lives. So we're going to watch two videos today to help us remember how we calculate or find elapsed time. Then we have an activity for you to do on your own and it will be something that handout that you'll turn in to Canvas when you are finished, okay? So let me go ahead and get started with our videos and then I will show you what your handout looks like for today. Andre, Andre, Andre starts working on his science project at 4 o'clock p.m. and he finishes 50 minutes later. Which number line below has a red dot marking when Andre finishes working on his science project? So they tell us that he starts his science project at 4 o'clock p.m. This first shot, this first choice over here, puts the dot at 4 o'clock. But they didn't say when did he start working on his science project. They say put a red dot marking when Andrew finishes working on his science project. So he started at 4, and it says he finishes 50 minutes, 50 minutes later. So if you start at 4, he's going to, if you add 50 minutes to 4, that's going to put us at 4.50. So where is 450 on this number line? So let's see. So or on this timeline, I guess I could say. So let's see. This is 415. So each of these marks must be five minutes. This is 405, 410, 415, 420, 425, 430, 435, 440, 445, and then 450 would be right over here. So which of these choices has a dot at 450? Uh, this last choice has a dot, has the red dot at 4.50. Notice this is 50 minutes after he started at 4 o'clock. Let's do a few more of these. Amira starts raking leaves at 2.30 p.m. and she finishes 25 minutes later. Which number line below has a red, dark, a red dot marking when Amira finishes raking the leaves? So she starts at 2.30 and she finishes 25 minutes later. So it looks like on this one, each of these each of these spaces is five minutes. So this is 2.30, so 2.30, so this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes later. And this space right over here is 2.55. And see, it looks like this first choice is actually the choice we're looking for. They put the red dot 25 minutes after 2.30. Notice this is 2.30, five minutes after 2.30, 10 minutes after 2.30. 15 minutes after 2.30, 20 minutes after 2.30, 25 minutes after 2.30. Let's keep going. This is actually a lot of fun. So the number line shows when Scarlett starts and finishes art club. All right, that's when she starts, that's when she finishes. What time did Scarlett start art club? Well, let's see. This is halfway between 3 o'clock and 3.30, so that's going to be 3.15. Each of these marks go up by 15 minutes. So this is at 3.15. What time did Scarlett finish Art Club? So this is right in between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, or you could say it's 15 minutes more than 4.30, so that's going to be 4.45. 4.45. How long was Scarlett in Art Club? So let's think about it. There's a couple of ways you could do it. You could look at the line. Let's see, so this to go from this point to this point, that's 15 minutes then at 30, then 45, then one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes. So you could say one hour, 30 minutes, or actually they want it all in minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes plus 30 minutes is 90 minutes. So actually let me just do it all in minutes again. So this is, as I move my mouse, this is, I'm going to talk about how many minutes I'm adding relative to this or from the start. So 15 minutes gets us to 330, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75 minutes, 
90 minutes. So that's 90 minutes right over there. Another way to think about it is it would take 45 minutes to go from 3.15 to 4 o'clock. 45 minutes to go from 3.15 to 4 o'clock. That makes sense. And then another 45 minutes to go from 4 o'clock to 4.45. So 45 plus 45 is going to be 90 minutes. Let's do, let's do a couple of these. So the number line shows when Anna starts and finishes reading a chapter in her book. What time did Anna start reading? So it says right over there she started reading at 8.10 p.m. 8.10 p.m. What time did Anna finish reading? Well, let's see. Let me make sure I'm reading this. So this is 8.20. This is 8.25. And they have one, two, three, four, five marks. So each of these go up a minute. So you could say it's a minute before 8.25 or four minutes after 8.24. 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24. Eight twenty-four. How long did Anna read? Well, she starts reading at eight ten and finishes reading at eight twenty-four. To go from ten to twenty-four, that means she read for fourteen minutes. And you could even count it over here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's do one more. Muhammad speaks on the phone for 15 minutes and finishes his phone call at 9.20 a.m. Which number line below has a green dot marking when Muhammad starts his phone call? All right, it finishes at 9.20. So it finishes, let's see, where's 9.20 on this number line? So it looks like each of these marks go up by five minutes. So this is 9.15, and I was able to figure that out because we have three marks that go to 9.15, from 9 to 9.15. So this is 9.05, 9.10, 9.15. So this would be 920. So this is when he finishes 920. And he was on the phone for 15 minutes. So, and remember, we don't want to mark where he finished. They tell us that's 920. We want to mark where he started. So if he's on the phone call for 15 minutes and he finishes at 920, he's going to finish 15 minutes, or sorry, if he's on the phone for 15 minutes and he finishes at 920, he's going to start 15 minutes before 920. So 5, 10, 15. He's going to start at 9.05. So that's this choice right over here. Another way you can think, think about it is, look, if I'm at 9.20 and I go 15 minutes before 9.20, 20 minus 15 is 5. So that's going to get me to 9.05. So we can just make sure we feel good about it. If he starts his phone call at, at 9.05 and he speaks for 15 minutes, 5, 10, 15, He's going to finish his phone call right over here at 920, which is exactly what they described. All right, friends. So now let's take a look at Annie and Moby helping us out with elapsed time as well. Moby. How long does the bus take to get to the Hall of Science? What is elapsed time? Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes between one point in time to another. Elapsed time can tell us how long it takes to get somewhere or how long something lasts. Knowing elapsed time can help us make plans and be on time. You can measure elapsed time by using a stopwatch. How long can you stand on one leg, Moby? The stopwatch counts up seconds, minutes, and even hours. Wow, you can stand on one leg for a long time, Moby. Uh, Moby, I think it's time to go now. You stood on one leg for 10 hours, 25 minutes, and 48 seconds. How can you use a clock to figure out elapsed time? The bus leaves at 9.40 and arrives at the Hall of Science at 10 o'clock. How long is the bus ride? You can use a clock to figure it out. Start at 9.40 and then count up by fives until you get to 10 o'clock. 5, 10, 15, 20. The bus takes 20 minutes to get to the 
Hall of Science. Cool. There's an electricity show at 10.30. What time is it now? It's 10.08. How much time do we have until the show? I can count up two minutes to get to 10.10. That's an easier time to work with. Now I can count up by fives until 10.30. Five, 10, 15, 20. Now add the minutes. 20 plus 2 is equal to 22. The electricity show is in 22 minutes. How can you use a chart to figure out elapsed time? The insect exhibit opens at 1.45. What time is it now? Let's see. It's 11.15. How much time do we have? You can make a chart to figure it out. You start at 11.15 and you count on one hour to get to 12.15. Then you count on another hour to get to 1.15. Then you count on 30 minutes to get to 1.45. Now add up all the hours and minutes. The exhibit opens in two hours and 30 minutes. How can you use a number line to figure out elapsed time? Look, there's a planetarium show. It begins at 11.50 and it's 35 minutes long. What time will it end? You start at 11.50 and count on 35 minutes. Let's see. I can count up 10 minutes to get to 12 o'clock. Then I can count on another 10 to get to 12.10, and another 10 to get to 12.20. I've counted up 30 minutes so far, but the show is 35 minutes long, so I need to count up another 5 minutes to get to 12.25. The show will end at 12.25. Cool, we can design our own robots. How long is the workshop? I can start at 1.10 and count up an hour to get to 2.10. Then I can count up 10 minutes to get to 2.20 and count another 10 minutes to get to 2.30. The designer robot workshop is one hour and 20 minutes long. What kind of robot are you making, Moby? That was a fun trip to the Hall of Science. Moby? Moby? Ah! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Moby. He is always up to something silly. He is just crazy. All right, friends. So this is the handout that you are going to make a copy of into your Google Drive for today. Okay, and it has an example up there that is similar to what we talked about and what was in our videos for today. And then we have our start time that we'll need to label, and then our end time, and then your job is to figure out how much time passed between those start times and the end times. So you have those four questions to do today, and please, um, when you're finished with that, if you'll submit it in Canvas, that would be great. And we will meet you back here tomorrow, friends. Bye.